Dude, this guy is one of my favorite Pokemon of all time. You okay, partner? I didn't seriously think you'd go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Blood Moon Beast, let alone catch it. Yeah, we did that on the first try, right, guys? <laughs> that was amazing. Absolutely amazing. Growlithe. You've got to work uh, on those nerves a bit, bud. <laughs> to be fair, he would have gotten blown back. He would have gotten earth-powered in one shot. Uh, but my heart is still beating a mile a minute. That was a thrill. I just couldn't stop snapping shots of you battling the Blood Moon Beast. I bet you want to give your partner a chance to rest and recover, though, huh? Let's head back to camp for now. Packing up the old tent and calling it a day feels a bit sad. Like the end of an adventure. I couldn't have done without you, partner. Because of you, I finally feel like I have some photos here and I want to keep that I want to keep forever. It's been ages since I felt that way. Seriously. And now I'm all motivated. It's time to ride this feeling and seize the day. I'm heading back to the village this instant to get these photos developed. As we always say in my family, time wasted is time lost. So I'm not wasting any more time. That's so funny. Let's let's meet again in Mosu. Mosui. Mosu? Mosu? I'm just call Mosu. Masui? Actually Masui, I think is right. Oh my gosh. What level are you at? 70? Dude. He is the coolest Pokemon. Mind's Eye. The Pokemon ignores changes to opponent's evasion. Its accuracy can't be lowered. And its ghost type moves. Wait. And it can hit ghost type. Ghost types with normal and fighting type moves. This is just better Scrafty. The hell? Wait. This thing just has. Or not Scrafty. Scrappy. This is. He has Scrappy, but he ignores evasion. So if they set up, like, double teams, he just ignores it. The opponent ignores changes to opponent's evasion. Though, I'm interested to know, does that apply for bonuses as well? Because it says ignores changes to opponent's evasiveness. So if their evasiveness is decreased via our Diplin here, does he also ignore that? Maybe that's a decent way to uh, to sort of nerf it. 140, 100% accurate Blood Moon. The user unleashes the full brunt of its spirit from a full moon that shines as red as blood. This move can't be used twice in a row. Interesting. Maybe that's why he kept setting up Calm Minds. So you can't... That's also very interesting because you can't, like, choice specs this thing then. Or like choice it in any way. That's crazy. I'm I'm interested to know how what people's uh how this is gonna be in competitive. I might grind the uh the crystals so that I can get them to Terra to Terra Ghost just because I feel like that would fit or like Terra Dark or something. Oh wait! Terra fighting because he can hit fighting type moves that would be crazy like hitting hammer arm on ghost types he can hit moon blast headlong rush the user smashes its body smashes into the target with a full body tackle this also lowers the user's defense and special defense interesting he has he has access to rest as well it crossed the seas and drifted ashore in a new land. Surviving in this place led it to take on a unique appearance and gain special powers. Dude, Ursaluna was already cracked and they gave it a new form. I love her. Oh, I'm so happy. This is, this is my redemption. I didn't use an Ursaluna in uh, Pokemon Legends Arceus, even though I loved it. Because I already had a full team that I, that I had planned out and wanted. This is my this is my redemption for my past self. This was the Ursaluna from Pokemon Legends Arceus coming over here because he knew he knew I would be here. And finally we could battle. Oh the, ah, 
<laughs> I'm so excited. I'm so excited to continue this. Okay, wait. Uh, I do know of... Okay, so I also want to do... I want to focus on the story, but I'm pretty sure there's a... Um... I'm pretty sure there's a... Oh, so let's get... Oh, hey. This isn't who I was thinking of, but let's do it. I want to fight the Kitakami Ogre Clan to upgrade up its uh, special attack even more. I fought one of these Ogre Clan guys off stream because I didn't think that they were going to be that strong. And they're actually quite bad. I didn't I didn't uh, end up finishing the fight because I wanted to save it for stream because I didn't realize they were people. But I'm Hasanabe of the Kitakami Ogre Clan. I control the rain and wash away my foes. Oh, are they uh, type specific, maybe? Politoed. I'm gonna pull out a crazy strat right here. They're gonna set up Drizzle. I'm gonna get my booster energy off. We're gonna up our attack. So he's gonna think, yo, I can just hit a powerful water type move and take this guy out. Oops, nope, you can't. And I'm gonna set up, uh. I'm gonna set up Stealth Rocks. So he thinks like, oh, rock type, you know. Oh, he's part electric, but that's okay. I'll keep my water type in. Oh my God, what's happening? Oh no, if only, oh, he's probably just, oh no, he's turning into pure electric. Now I'm not gonna be super effective with the, uh, the rock. Oh my gosh, he's not gonna have the rock weakness. Now my water's gonna be doing not as much and he's, his, his attacks will be doing more. Damn, that did more than I thought and also was faster than me. <laughs> I think uh, I think that was a good play, though, considering I could just do this. Actually, oh, well, no. I'm like, he might not go for a surf, but... Yeah, the fact that I can just go, hey, um, remember all of your attacks that you had? What if uh, they didn't do anything? Hyper voice. We're gonna hit him with that body slam, baby. Para? This is still a polywhirl, unfortunately. It's not gonna be doing crazy amounts of damage. I'm just gonna throw him to the wolves here. My team is gonna be so strange. Like, uh, me and Giblart are constantly or we were talking about potentially doing another another team battle at the end of our, our season twos. And uh, my team is gonna be two like incredible or three incredibly strong Pokemon. Minty, who's also pretty strong, and then just Poliwhirl. <laughs> like I'm gonna have a Paradox Pokemon. I'm gonna have this. I'm gonna have the. I'm gonna have uh, Ursaluna. I'm gonna have the Ogre. I can't. I wouldn't put it past any of these Pokemon to have like. Um, what's it called? Ice Beam, dude. How are you still faster than me? He's gonna phrase me. Okay, thank God. I'm gonna move. Can I? I want to back the camera out. It's it's so annoyingly close. Um, Ludicolo is grass water, or yeah, grass water. So grass isn't gonna be as effective against it. I think I'm going to switch to Cyanide for that and Dragon Pulse it. Because we four re times resist both his stabs. He might have Ice Beam, actually. He, he could also have Ice Beam. He might have Teeter Dance. I don't know. I probably have to heal up some Pokemon. My team is both very great, but very bad. Uproar. Okay. That shouldn't be that bad. And he's trapped into it now. Hmm. It's not super great. I will say, though... I mean, I'm not the best at Pokemon. But I will say that these, these battles that have... Uh, that have been in the DLC are uh, are pretty good. Like they're pretty tough. I find that 
I, I've been working with like a team of four, so anybody that's like actually playing with their champion team will probably have an easy time. But like everything's like level 75. It's pretty all right for difficulty, I think. Uh, Syrup Bomb isn't resisted? Oh, I guess because water type. Interesting. Uh, I'm going to do Syrup Bomb then. Because I will lower its speed. That actually, I think, did more than Dragon Pulse. Also, because it's set up in the, the grassy terrain, the doi. Um, I might be faster than it now with minus one speed. I am not. It sets up Rain Dance. I think that was a little bit of a throw on its part. Oh, wow. It lives on one. But it's maybe now we're going to be faster. You used, to co you used a completely new team, Potato, and we're uh, com like consistently underleveled. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't take a lot to like like all these pokemon you catch here will be like level 60 but like all the trainers are like level 70s it's very interesting hades came into this at level 50 which is why he's still my lowest level dreadnaw dreadnaw will probably have like ice fang i think dreadnaw is like ooh, he might have swift swim too actually We'll have to see. But if he doesn't have anything to handle Minty, he's getting one shot. Jawlock? Ooh, barely. Barely lived that. The only Pokemon that we brought over was Minty for uh, Season 2, and uh, Minty's been putting in the work. <laughs> Minty, I think I underestimated her in, in mine and Giblart's battles where I didn't use her properly. Because she's... I always think of of her as sort of a... Um, what's it called? Like a... Like a, like a Lilligant. I always think of her as like Lilligant, but she's a lot more bulky. She's not really meant to attack. She's meant to like set up. I don't know if she has any ac like access to any hazards or anything. Um, okay. I think what I want to do here is I'm going to max... This thing definitely has last respects. I was going to heal... I was going to heal Hades, but I think I'm going to heal Minty, because that last respects can't hit Minty. He's going to go for Aqua Jet, which I'm fine with. I wonder if he has anything for me now, actually. Wave Crash. It doesn't seem like he has anything for me, then. And he was damaged by Recoil. We love to see it. I love that Basket Legion can be caught in this environment. It's super cool. White Stripe uh, Basculin is my favorite. Because it evolves into Basket Legion, but it's still my favorite. It's very cool. So you defeated the trainer of the Kitakami Ogre Clan. Nice. So now we talk to that. We can talk to that one guy. Uh, I didn't talk to him on stream. I talked to him off stream. But he said he would give me stuff if I beat the Ogre Clan people. So let's do that. I still haven't been able to find any um, mask sellers. So I don't think you can buy a mask in this game. My uh, assumption here is he's going to show me how to throw my Pokeball differently. That's my that's my theory. Heard you beat a member of the Kitakami Ogre Clan. Here's a cool prize as promised. Oh, a Focus Sash. The six members of the Kitakami Clan, there's six members left. Want a hint on where they might be? No. Uh, I thought he was going to give me the cool, because they were saying that you can change your throwing style in one of the trailers, so I assumed that that guy would give me a, a training that. Hey, are you one of those students from Paldea? 
See, I happen to make chairs in my free time. Uh, but I'm a bit stuck out on what design to use for that, for some nice picnic chairs. Could you maybe show me any tablecloths you got? Sure. Show the old man your tablecloth. Hmm, I see. So these are the kind of designs people in Paldea like, huh? I'm going to make... I'm going to try making some new chairs using the designs you showed me. And one, a two, and here I go. My work here is done. Allow me to share the fruits of my labor with you. Thanks. Academy chairs and simple chairs. If you happen upon any new tablecloths, don't forget to show me to show me them. Interesting. Okay, let's go talk to Perrin. She's taking a picture of someone's house <laughs> through their window. I've been waiting for you to come by, partner. I managed to develop the photos I took of the Blood Moon Beast. Hey, show me. Oh, well, the... F fact is that once I got them all printed out, I could see the photos I'm... I could see that the photos I managed to get are all blurry or cut off out of focus. They really aren't good enough to show anyone. Not even you, partner. But still, out of all the photos I've ever taken, I think they may be my favorites. I think I got... I'd gotten too caught up in my own head worrying about framing or what judge... what judges might say. Always thinking about what, uh, what I ought to capture. But just capturing your subjects as they are, that's what photos should be. You taught me something important, partner, so thanks for that. Ah, that's right. Your name. I never ever asked you your name, partner. I know that's awful of me. After all you did, after all you did to help me, but mind teaching me your name? My name is Masu. Masu. A perfect name for a gutsy kid like you. Well then, nice to officially meet you, Masu. The name's Perrin, a photographer with a renewed love of photography. I can say that with pride now. Ah, and your reward. You've earned yourself a real choice reward for all your help for all the help you've been. Hey, a choice scarf. Nice. That's hilarious. Oh, and this Growlithe of mine was a younger brother that this Growlithe of mine has a younger brother that really loves battling. I think you'll do better job raising it. Oh, that's so cool. Raise it to be real strong, okay? I think that wraps that about wraps it up. I did what I came here to do, so I guess I should hit the road. I'm afraid this is goodbye. But you know, Growlithe likes to likes these like these are known for living and working together in pairs. Even if they're separated for a while, I bet their paths might just cross some again uh, again someday. So you raised th that one with care in the meantime. I will raise this Growlithe to be strong. Definitely not going to just keep him in the box. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing what you you pull off. I got high hopes. So bye for now, Masu. Until next time. Mow wow. The rain really just started when she left, like, prophetic fallacy. That's amazing. That that was in-game. I don't, I don't think that was the cutscene. That's crazy. Uh, we're gonna move this Growlithe back into the box. That's actually super cool, though. I mean, I don't... I still don't really know the scaling for this game. But if... Um, if you could still beat the Ursaluna, like, at the beginning of the game... It would be kind of cool to see, uh, to be able to get a Growlithe early on, a Hisuian Growlithe, and be able to do the whole story with a Hisuian Growlithe. That'd be cool. What's up? The candy, tr the candy fruits at the Festival of Mask had such an interesting flavor. Uh, I think we have to rest. Is the is the gimmick? Want to call it a night? Yup. The next day. Why do you walk like that? Good morning, Mosslu. Carbide wanted me to tell you that she's waiting at her place. She said you better get a move on and don't keep me waiting. 
Sounds like her. Let's go head over. Also, I have a I have a theory, which is probably not too much of a theory, but in the uh, the ogre ousting game, where you pop the balloons and collect the different colored uh, the different colored fruits, based on what we've learned about the ogre pond's masks, um, I think all of those are what the masks are gonna look like. The different balloons. Which, I think the, the rock one, if it does look like that, is going to look really cool. Hi. <laughs> Masa, you took your sweet time. They wanted to talk... We wanted to talk to you before Kiki wakes up. I wanted to fix dear Ogapon's mask, but... I need more materials if I want to do a proper job of it. Yeah. According to Grandpa, we need to get a crystal cluster from the bottom of the crystal pool. I mean, we could just return the mask as is as it is, but I think it would be make Ogapon real happy if we fixed it up for first. Yeah, I bet it would. Especially now that I've heard the real story, I just want Ogapon to be happy, you know. I'm sure Ogapon would be pleased to know you care so much for it. Right? Morning, Gramps. Ah, good morning, Kieran. Kiki. You'd better go kill time somewhere. Yeah, yeah. Do whatever you want, sis. I excuse me? I don't need that kind of attitude from you. I got stuff to do, okay? What's his problem? He's been all bent out of shape since yesterday. I don't know. He seems... He's spent the evening in his room without... Uh, without so much as a bite of dinner. Must be a teenage angst or something. It happens. If it would have been hard to get stuff done with Kiki clinging on to you, Masu, guess things worked out. It worked out in your favor. The crystal pools are at the top of the Oni Mountain. I usually, I'm usually not keen on outsiders heading up to the mountain, but I think we can make an exception for you. What say you? What say you and I go hike to find ourselves a crystal cluster? I've been up there so many times, it's not even funny. I find climbing the mountain is a faster way than going around it. <laughs> Dude, I... Look, okay. I know this game is not perfect, right? I, I fully understand that this is probably not a really acceptable kind of game for a billion dollar company, right? Like, I, I fully, fully get that. I fully get that. But I fucking love this game, man. <laughs> I love it so much. It's so fun. I, I hope that Pokemon can get better, but I love this freaking game. I'm going to talk to the this person and fight him. I didn't even realize this person was going to be in here. I'm Rikari of the Kitanami Ogre Clan. The lightning I wield will shake you to the core. The lightning you wield? That sounds all right to me. <laughs> so they're, they're kind of like gym leaders. There's only seven of them, though, unless there's a, an eighth secret one. I think it didn't really work out for me last time, but I'm going to set up Stealth Rocks again. And then I'm going to Earthquake the shit out of everything. Ooh, Grass Knot. Oh, gosh. Dang, man. I should have, uh, man, maybe I should have tear it. I didn't think, I mean, I do know that Raichu carries that, but I didn't think that he would pull that out. Um, I think... What I'm going to do then is I'm going to go to, we're going to go to Cyanide and we'll probably heal Hades back up. We lose the attack boost though. That's really rough. I didn't foresee the, uh, the grass knot, unfortunately. We'll set up Cyanide, lower its speed and evasion. I feel like the, the camera is just in the worst position. Oh my God. <laughs> I just want to see the battle. He didn't expect... That was a crit, too. It did five damage, because we both weigh nothing, and we, uh... are resist both of that. We, we resist it both ways, with grass and dragon. Speed fell. Thunderbolt! A 
Energy ball! Yo, the special defense drop. We're someone's favorite out there. I'm gonna... Okay, I am gonna heal up Hades, because even though we got nearly one shot, I think Hades can still pull out some stuff for us. Though, honestly, I should probably just... Um, I should let uh, Chimea... Chimea... Get, uh, get some hits in, get some licks in. T-Wave, come on, man. Come on, man. They were going for the paralysis on the uh, the Thunderbolt, and we're hoping to get it. Cyanide putting in some work, though. Cyanide's real bulky with this Eviolite. I might not even evolve it unless its evolution is really cool. The thing with its evolution is, I mean... I don't know what it evolves into. I don't know if it evolves now. But the thing that's really interesting about it is the that Diplin is canonically two Pokemon. So we could get like a Hydra Apple Pokemon. <laughs> that would be really cool. I know we already have a, like a Hydreigon's Wireless and stuff, but I wanted like a double Hydra Worm Pokemon or like a almost like a cat a cat dog situation you know where their tails are connected and they have the two heads sticking out of the apple i'd love that i think that's so funny i didn't see who was getting swapped in so i'm just gonna put kaima in there's no way they don't have more like grass and water type moves i can't imagine raichu is the only one dude this 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 okay there, that's a better camera angle luxray okay I'm going to hit you with that earth power, baby. Electric terrain setting up. It's been... Dude, a, terrains have been around for years. I still don't know what all of them do. You know? Um, I'm going to set up a Calm Mind. Ice Fang. Oof. That's kind of poopy. Um, I think I'm going to swap in Hades on the potential Ice Fang. And then we're going to Terra to Electric Earth Power. Or er, Earthquake. Oh! Cork Drive's activated by the Electric Terrain? Dude, I didn't even know that. Crit, really? Come on now. Okay. Um... That's that's crazy actually. I did not know that. Uh because I guess sun the sun Oh, that makes sense though. Because the sun is what the past Pokemon does, and then electric terrain. That's super cool. I thought it was the sun for both of them. I thought these robots were like solar powered or something. I don't know. We hit him with that earthquake, send him straight to hell. Let's get that plus one as well. He set it up for us. I just made the greatest play and I wasn't even attempting to. Oh, light screen wore off. That's probably why the earth power did like nothing. Vicavolt. That's bug electric. It might have levitate, but I'm just going to rock slide it either way. Those rocks doing a little bit of damage on it. Um, Electric Seed boosts defense. Ooh, that's a really good play by it. But this is actually now neutral. Oh, we outspeed, but we miss. Jesus. God hates us today. Dude, we just... God hates me with these fucking misses, man. Goddamn, 10%. Okay. Uh, That's super rough. Oh, that's so annoying. Dude, I'm annoyed. Okay. Um I think I'm going to send in Kaima cuz it's it's uh the physically defensive, not specially defensive. Depending on what it has, this might be an opportunity for me. Bug Buzz. Jesus! What the fuck is happening here? Am I losing my mind? <laughs> what? 
Why is it doing that much? Okay, we're gonna max revive you, get KO'd and bring him back out in the electric terrain, maybe. What the hell, man? I know Vigavolt's strong, but I didn't think it was this strong. Dude, these guys gotta have like Eevee's Ivies or some shit, right? I feel like these guys are, are cracked out their minds. We're also uh, under leveled, so. Thank you. Are you kidding? How did we not? I get. Oh, flinch! Yes! The trade! The trade! We didn't get the cork boost, though, did we? Oh. Okay, we did for that, and now it wore off. Do we KO here, though? Yes. Nice. Okay, we traded. We traded. Fair is fair. And I crit. Okay. God's trying to make up for it. Chill, chill, chill. Chill, God. Just give it to me normally. You know, we don't need... I don't need really bad luck and then really good luck. Probo Pass is coming out. Probo Pass. Probo Pass? Probo Pass is an electric type. I'm going to switch to Boots and Brick Break it. I don't remember what abilities Probo Pass has. I honestly just assume that it has, like, Levitate. This thing's gonna have an electric type move, though, or be Terraed into electric type. I'm just gonna Brick Break it. Probably gonna Light Thunderbolt. Gravity. What? Why did you do that? <laughs> Why did you gravity? Zap cannon? Does that does gravity make zap cannon hit? I I don't know why you did that, sir. All that did for me is just know that I now can hit you with earthquake no matter what. Right? Gra gravity brings down both of us, right? Yeah. Whether you had levitate or not, I'm not sure why you did that. I didn't have levitate. It's got to be something with zap cannon. Gravity's got to like make zap cannon like 100% or something, right? There there's got to be like a reason. So you defeated a trainer of the Kitakami Ogre Clan. Yes, I did. And now this Geo did want the smoke. 